right. Considering it procedural skills question, can you tell me how, how would you excise uh, the nervous? Okay, ma'am. Uh, good afternoon. Um, I'll come into the station. I'll wash my hands. Um, I'll greet the um the patient. Good afternoon. My name is um Dr. Uh, I. Um, the in this team I've been asked to excise um, the collision on your forearm. Um, I will be um, gentle. I would um, take, um, I will be initially, um, if you, um, I'll put uh, something to numb the skin. I would have a look at the, 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 the lesion and then I'll put something to numb the skin. Um, I would um, be gentle, ensure that you don't feel any pain while the procedure is on. And if you feel any pain, kindly let me know. Um, I'll confirm the patient's... Um, can I confirm your name and age, please? And then I'll confirm also from the patient's tag. And then I'll ask the patient if the patient has any allergies. Do you have any allergies to um, iodine, to um, local anesthetic agents like xylokin or um, to latex? Um, and then I will ask if the patient has any images, uh, any uh, images. Then um, I would um, ask. Um, there's yeah. And then I will ask the patient either if uh, um, I can go ahead. And then before I, I go ahead, I would request for an assistant. And then I would um, request for my the materials I'll be requiring. I'll be requiring. Um, Surgical blade size so um, 15 blade uh, uh, with a packer handle. I would be needing um needle holder and um stitch scissors um that suits dissecting forceps. I would also need um um dissect scissors and I'll need um I'll need a dressing um pack, I'll need gauze, sterile gauze. Um, providon iodine um, for skin preparation, and, and then I'll need sterile drips. Um, uh, um, and then um, I'll need a 21G needle and a 25G needle with syringes. And then I would also need um, xylocaine with um, adrenaline, preferably. Um, um, then um, I'll check the expiry dates. And then I would also check for the sharps box and then um, also a disposal, a waste disposal box. I'll check the expiry dates on, on the povidone iodine and the xylokine adrenaline and then the sutures to ensure that they have not expired. Then mass, then um, I'll scrub and don my gloves. Gloves, I'll um, my assistant to join me and then I'll prep um, the skin, um, open the packs and ensure everything is done in a sterile manner. I'll prep, I would um, inspect, before I start, actually, I would have checked the x-ray to be sure it's normal. There's no issue. There's no bone involvement or any extent spread or doesn't. there's no um, serious lesions. Then I would then, um, go, go ahead and prep the skin. Uh, um, sterile, sterile, in a sterile, and then drip. In a sterile manner, I would um, collect um, xylokine or adrenaline and then infiltrate, um, or I'll mark, the sites where I want to make um, ensure, ensure that the um, navels is at the center of the uh, um, of, of an elliptical marking, which um, is the area around the navels being um, five, going five uh, millimeters on both sides around so circumferentially, and then in a lipscale, you shall making it three times the length of the navels. Um, then I would uh, um, infiltrate the area I want to. Okay, then after marking, how exactly would you excise? It's a, I'll use the 25G needle, 21G needle to be, 25G needle to withdraw, and then I'll infiltrate with the um, 21G. And then, uh, sorry, you know, I will, I will use 21G to withdraw, and then I will infiltrate with 25G, which is the smaller needle size. Then I would, um, And uh, how you place the site? And then I'll infiltrate. After infiltrating, I'll wait for about five. I'll inform the examiner that I'll wait for about five minutes, however. 
I'll just go ahead since um, there's no time. Then I'll um, go ahead with um, excision of um, along the markings I've made on the skin. And then I'll excise um, up to the deep margins, ensuring that there's um, deep margin, there's no feature of the dark spots on under my um, deep margins up to the subcutaneous tissue. Then I would um, commence my suturing to close the wound. I would prep again with propidone. I didn't clean the area. And then I'll commence suturing. I'll suture from the middle of the wound, um, half, half, half on both sides. Start from half of the middle, then half of both sides until I complete my incision. I'll use a simple, inter simple interrupted suturing technique using nylon, um, using nylon 3-0 um, um, suture until I completely close. And then um, I would I would um, request I will apply povidone iodine dressing. And post procedure, I'll counsel the patients that uh, there might be some pain from the site. Um, however, I'll give the patient analgesics and um, other complications that may happen. Even though I don't, I hope they will not. I, I don't expect them to happen. Is that the patient may may get infected? There may be um, the the patient may develop hypertrophic scar, or if the patient is a killer trauma, they may be killer developing from the wound. Um, the wound may break down. Um, and then um, there okay. may be bleeding, and then yes, ma'am. Um, I would also um, I would tell the patients that um, how long should, um, yes. would you ask? The okay, after I would, the I would, sutures then. Yes, about ten to fourteen days, considering it's in the limb. Um, however, if it is on the face, um, yes, it will be if it's on the face, it will be three to five days. Okay. And what um, about if, if it's, it's on, on the, the back? Chest on the back, it's about mm -hmm. um, seven to ten days. Um, then on the chest, same time, and then okay. on the limbs, 10 to 14 you days. Can you please tell me what you understand by the term Langer's line? Langer's lines are lines of uh, along the skin. There are lines are on the skin that um, identify the line, the tension in that indicates um, um, the skin tension lines along the skin that. Um, did we Sorry, ma'am. I, 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 I'll go back. Okay. Yes. Can they, you tell me the difference they, between breastless thickness and Clark's level? Yes, ma'am. Relation um, to melanoma. Yes, ma'am. Um, the breastless thickness um, is the thickness of the um, uh, melanoma using um, calipers measured histologically from the um, skin down down to the. Um, deeper liver layers of the skin while the Clark's level uses the and is measured in millimeters um, while the Clark's level use, um, uses the um, um, layers of the skin epidermis um, papillary dermis reticular dermis and oh, then, um, excision so margins uh, are dependent on the with different breast low thickness Can you yes ma'am the breast low thickness yes ma'am the breast low thickness uh, affect the excision margin. The, the when if the breast thickness is less than zero point five millimeters, the um, excision margin is just um, zero point five centimeters. It's in in situ. Well, um, if it is um greater than um is zero point five to zero point seven five, um, I think that's um one millimeter. Then um, zero point five to one, and then. I'm sorry, 0 0.75 to 1, and then at 1, then 1 to 2. If it is um, between 0 0.5 to 1, I think that's 2 millimeter, and then above that, 3 millimeters. 3 cm, imagine. I'm not sure. I think that's okay. it. Bell is gone. Three Thank you. Yes, so, yes, uh, who would give feedback? What were the things Dr. Obas missed? Right, you took consent, you introduced yourself, you took consent, uh, you checked, uh, you marked. All right, good. When you were checking for allergies, you forgot to ask for the bleeding disorder, so you lost one point there. Uh, you, when you were checking or when you were putting the local anesthetic, you did not check the expiry date, and also you did not confirm with the with the tool that if it's working or not, if it, anesthetic has started working or not. 
So you lose two marks there. You did remember to make elliptical marks. So you got the mark there. When you remove the nevus, did you remember to put it in a special jar? And did you write the label on it? Because if you forgot- No, ma'am, I didn't. Yes, that's right. I I'm didn't saying. even discard my shops. I didn't. Yeah, so you lost your marks I there. Forgot. And once you, you yes, have closed the wound appropriate, appropriately, so you got two marks for that. Uh, and then, yes, as spent for histology, you lose one mark for that. Appropriate dressing, you did not put, so lost the mark. Dress the wound. Yeah. I addressed the wound. You addressed the wound, so yes. Yes, ma'am. Stop did. instructions you gave clearly, so you got the mark there. Uh, disposing of equipment, so you lost one mark there. But then you yes. answered um, two out of three questions, so you lost one mark there. Yeah, so just we uh, why we are doing it because we have to revise it. Yes, ma'am. And Thank uh, you. since it's the common one, so hopefully you will go back and you'll read. Um, yes, ma'am. Okay, when bleeding disorders, then when you ask for allergies, you have to ask if patient is already taking any anticoagulants or not. So that is also yes, very important. Uh, yes, other than the bleeding disorder, good.